The Origin Story of Kissing Under the Mistletoe In England, a kissing branch is a common Christmas decoration. It is also known as a Christmas bow or mistletoe bow, and is shaped like a sphere or globe with a wireframe. History This custom has a long history that began in England in the early Middle Ages. In Europe, it was traditional to hang a tiny treetop upside down, as a representation of the Holy Trinity. This was seen as a year-round emblem of divine favors for the members of each household and was used not just at Christmas. It was customary for guests to embrace the master and mistress of the home symbolically under the branch. This demonstrated that they only brought goodwill to the meeting. The bow has evolved through time and now includes ribbons, apples, almonds, and candles. Greenery covers the entire frame. Mistletoe is tied underneath red apples or oranges that are hanging from ribbons in the center. Bright streamers are affixed to the top, and candles can also be clipped to the frame. The kissing ball can also appear as a crown, with only the upper half of the globe making up the structure. Why do we kiss under the mistletoe? Kissing beneath mistletoe is a well-known holiday custom, but this small plant has a long history of serving as a symbolic herb. The Roman scientist Pliny, the elder observed it may be used as a remedy for epilepsy, ulcers, and poisons. The Greeks were known to utilize it as a cure for everything from menstruation pains to spleen ailments. The Celtic druids of the first century AD are most likely responsible for the plant's amorous connotations. The druids gave mistletoe to both people and animals in the hopes of reviving fertility because it could bloom even during the cold winter. As a result, they began to regard it as a sacred emblem of vitality. Norse mythology contributes another well-known section of mistletoe legend. According to legend, when the death of the god Odin's son Baldr was foretold, Baldr's mother, the goddess of love Frigg, went to every animal and plant in the natural world to obtain an oath that they would not harm her son. The innocent mistletoe, however, was not consulted by Frey and Loki, the cunning deity saw that an arrow manufactured from the plant was used to kill the otherwise unstoppable Baldr. One rosier interpretation of the legend claims that the gods succeeded in raising Baldr from the dead. Frigg exclaimed with joy that mistletoe represented love and swore to kiss everyone who passed beneath it. Through the Middle Ages, mistletoe's connections with vigor and fertility persisted, and by the 18th century, it had been widely incorporated into Christmas festivities. It's unclear exactly how the kissing custom evolved from a sacred plant to a seasonal ornament, but it seems to have originated among English servants before catching on with the middle classes. If a woman was seen standing under the mistletoe, men were permitted to steal a kiss from her, and it was considered unlucky to decline. Another holiday custom directed couples to kiss while removing the single berry from the mistletoe, and to cease when all of the berries were gone. How to Kiss Under the Mistletoe Kissing under the mistletoe is a Christmas tradition that, like so many other things in our culture, has its origins in pagan rituals. The Druids believed that mistletoe offered protection against evil spirits and was an aphrodisiac. In medieval times, kissing was seen as a sign of peace and goodwill, and kissing under the mistletoe became a Christmas tradition. It is still common in many European countries to kiss someone you love on Christmas Eve, or Christmas Day as long as you are standing underneath the sprig of mistletoe. If the person you want to kiss does not wish to be kissed, then they can refuse by saying no or shaking their head. Other people may also see this as an opportunity to ask for a kiss. Traditionally, there must be at least two people kissing under the same sprig of mistletoe for it to have been considered auspicious and lucky. That's all for today's origin story video guys. Tell us your thoughts in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let us know what origin story you'd like to learn about next in the comments. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next video. Until then, best wishes. Thanks for watching.